Hi guys, Full Metal Agent back again today. Um, as you can see behind me, uh, the quarry we built last time has uh, mined quite a bit down. Um, fortunately, it ran out of coal before it got too far because my chest that I had put there uh, ran out of space. But I don't think I lost a great deal anyhow. Um, all the ores weren't stacked up properly and things like that, so um, I didn't lose any ore or anything too serious. Um, I don't believe it dug the Zycorium or the V shards. I could be wrong, but I didn't see any. It could just be a coincidence. Um, so this episode, I will be piping everything or setting up the piping system into my chest upstairs at home. Um, I really need to get that done so I can turn the quarry back on and let it dig down all the way. Um, it's a... Uh, I've already dug it through here. These are the cobblestone pipes that we'll be using to take it through. I've already dug it through there, all the way along over there, and up the back of the house and into the room I want it to go to. As you can see, I've got a whole heap of cobblestone and dirt. Um, all these items and stuff were just ores and things that I took out. Um, so the quarry definitely did its job, but I forgot that quarries now work as chunk generators so it was working while I was off the server but uh, not to worry anyway um, something I'll remember in the future that that's where the pipe goes up up there and into the house up in the basement so if we run through here I haven't really done anything else around the area upstairs say good day to George and Jerome Still got to take these guys for a ride yet. I got me saddles on them. And up here, this is where I want all of the sorting to be done in all of these chests. We got components, food, ores. Eventually, I'll probably upgrade them all and split them up a bit into iron chests, but I just haven't got the materials to do that at the moment. Um, see the pipes run through the back here. The aim of the game today is to have the pipes running all the way back through there, all the way around there, across through here, and then this being the last chest here, which will basically just be unsorted and stuff like that. So the pipes we are going to use will be diamond pipes. They are the pipes that when the item comes through the pipe and it gets to the diamond pipe, it spits the whatever the selected item in the diamond pipe is into the chest. Anything else just keeps going through. So through the process of elimination, by the time we get around to this chest here, there should only be bugger all items going in it. This is my unsorted chest at the moment, which is just all cluttered up crap that really doesn't have much of a category. So the first step, making pipes is very, very simple. Get rid of all that stuff. That's just a chest upgrade. I'll probably do all that later. Um, for all of them, whatever pipe you want, there's all different kinds of pipes. Cobblestone pipes, obsidian pipes, normal stone pipes, diamond pipes, gold pipes, um, wooden pipes. Um, the diamond pipes are the ones where, these are the diamond pipes here, they're the ones we're using today. Um, cobblestone pipes are quite easy, they're just two on either side, glass in the middle. And it's basically the same with every other one. Gold pipes speed items up when they hit them. Well, when the items hit the pipe and you put a redstone torch next to it, gold pipes will actually shoot that item through really, really quickly. Um, speeding up the process, of course. Diamond pipes, we've discussed them. They sort everything out there. I think we're going to need quite a few diamond pipes for this, to be honest. Uh, what am I doing? There we go. Um, iron pipes are a one-way kind of pipe. I actually haven't made a wrench yet, but I won't be using iron pipes anyway. So when you make uh, iron pipes, are uh, when you put them down, they have one output. So when I connect a cobblestone pipe to that and one on this side, you'll notice that, where is it, where is it? There should be one unselected, but there's not. Anyway, one side of that iron pipe pumps out. Every other side, it won't run through that direction. So it's just basically a one-direction flow pipe. Um, 
then there are obsidian pipes which are purple pipes i actually don't have any obsidian which is a shame but if you drop an item around like that around an obsidian pipe it will pick it up and transport it through the piping system so it's handy to have at the end of a, a pipeline or something where it might overflow or something like that um i don't believe buildcraft pipes do overload in buildcraft 3 anyhow so um We've got all of our diamond pipes ready. Um, there's cobblestone pipes and stone pipes, which are different, not really different from each other. I think cobblestone pipes will um, work better with gold pipes, but they all do work. Um, normal stone pipes won't connect to cobblestone pipes because they're basically just two modes of transport, but they won't connect to each other, which is handy when you're trying to do um, sorting systems and things that are really close together you don't have to worry about them running into each other now where did the stone pipes go there they are right there right in front of me okay so if you've got a row of stone pipes and then a row of cobblestone pipes they won't actually run into each other which is handy whereas if I was to put a pipe there it would connect to it alright so that's a handy thing that can help you make condense down the sorting system or automatic oaring people do it just helps it get nice and tight all right have a bit of a turkey leg all right now to lay these pipes here this chest here will be my ores chest which eventually it will be all automated and stuff like that but for now I'm just putting all the ores into the one chest at the end so you just plonk the pipe down and then you continue it along to uh, yep to the next chest so everything that is not going into this chest here will go straight through to the blue everything that I do want to go into this chest will go into the yellow now these are a lot better than the old build craft pipes the diamond pipes they didn't really have a straight through flow which made the red power sorting system a lot better but this one here uh, seems to work really really well um, you can't sort as many items into the one chest but it still works pretty well so it looks like I can't actually click on it so I'm gonna have to pretty much dig out the wood above every single one oh, let's get an axe here we go dig out the wood above every single one so I can actually click on it which is a bit of a shame don't want that one there alright so here is the system here so we want everything yellow to be going straight through uh, to, to be coming into this silver chest here I made the ores chest a bit bigger so it doesn't overflow it's actually a silver chest uh, sorry um, iron chest which has got the inventory of twice the inventory of a normal chest which is basically the same as a double chest in a smaller spot so what we want to do is we want to grab one of each of these items here Ba -da -da -da. iron ore, I left one in there there's a few ores missing from this so um, I will have to add to them as I go copper ore and then what we'll want to do is we want to go for the yellow slot so basically you just put all of the ores into oh you don't have to have the ore that's good it doesn't take the ore sorting systems actually take the ore which is a bit of a shame alright iron ore cinnabar ore I think that's almost everything if not it'll get to the end of the sorting system and then I'll get it later alright so that's basically how you set a gold pipe up now when the when all the things come through here they travel through this pipe here they're gonna all of these ores when they hit it they're gonna stop there and then go into this chest anything else will just continue straight through and then when it gets to this chest I'll have all my food sorted out into the dime, uh, gold pipes and then same same and then also you can put two diamond pipes at the back of these and it will sort them out I've tested that and it will sort them out so if you've got a double chest or you with one and you need 10 uh, I think there's only 10 slots in it um, whoops if you need 20 slots you just put two diamond pipes at the back of these and that works fine so I'll pipe all this up and once I've got that done I'll be back to show you what I've done so I'll see you on the other side
All right, guys, back again. Um, all finished. I kind of had to tear my house apart, just the top layer anyway. Won't take much to put back together anyway. Um, I made myself a drop chest so that anything I come down when I've been traveling, I come up the ladder, I just put everything in the drop chest and it will sort it out. Um, obviously there is a limit to what you can sort. You can sort everything, but you kind of got to be mad too because all these weapons and things, they all have different damage properties, values. Um, it would take forever to get every single weapon damage value and all that in there even stuff there's not it's not necessary to sort anything don't be lazy just put it in a chest it doesn't take much um all of this stuff here that's all glass running through i've upgraded some of the chests over here these are just the last drop chests because it's just too big there's too much random crap that i haven't sorted yet so it was just kind of overflowing like i said uh, swords and stuff just automatically put them in there or well, manually sorry put them in the weapons chest um i found out two diamond pipes don't go around corners they they will go around corners obviously but they are only color coded around that corner um they only flow straight through in a straight row so this diamond pipe here the output will go straight through because it's coming from the left hand side there but I had a diamond pipe here in the corner and it would not flow straight through it was just putting them into this one here um, I'll look into that a bit more anyway it could also be because if you don't have anything in the diamond pipe it will put 50 50 in through that output and straight through so if you've got say this chest here is full of wooden things if i had two diamond pipes on it i've got this one loaded up on the yellow and then this one not loaded up on the yellow at all it would instead of sending most items straight through it would send half of them into that chest through the yellow anyway um but yeah it all works um the cobblestone's coming through now um, I've got a couple of items I'll put through just to show you how they work. Um, I've got, this is powered by a redstone engine. They're pretty easy to make um, with a redstone torch behind it to actually turn the power on. Um, just drop them in there and it sucks them out. It only sucks one at a time. If you can see the cobblestone transport pipe is only coming down one at a time. Red power um, sorting machines can, you have the option to suck out um, 64 items or whatever is in the stack at, at a time uh, makes them a bit better they are a bit better I think the red power but uh, they're a bit of a pain powering them you gotta have red power set up um, and they take a lot longer to organize as well obviously oh, I ended up having to use a um, iron transport pipe after all um, you just make a wrench um, that's three iron and one gear in the middle um, and open it up like that that's the opening in there so as you can see um, that's a one-way pipe so nothing's coming back down here everything's going through the one way um, the golden apple is coming through and the cactus that we're keeping an eye on um, I just jammed all my pipes in there they're sorted over over there the golden apple goes into the chest it's meant to go into boom boom and the cactus comes through here now hopefully this should go through the chest as well. One, two, three. Boom shakalaka. Now it comes around here. I have, when it comes to certain things, I've only sorted certain items. Like these swords here, I've gathered them from killing werewolves around. They're a pain in the butt to kill. But, um, so the only thing I've actually put in these pipes are the swords with zero damage value on them and arrows because like I said it'd take forever to get all damage values plus these diamond pipes don't give you enough sorting power to do that see here I've put the iron hoe in this one because I had this the iron hoe in here before and it was shooting half of the junk into that chest there so the cobblestone's coming around that should all end up in the cobblestone chest which it is not I don't think I sorted cobblestone what's going on here uh, cobblestone should be in there in the red not in there looks like I didn't sort cobblestone alright let's see what happens here when I change it put the cobblestone in the red boom there we go alright see no like when you do it 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 you'll never get it right the first time um, it takes 
uh, trial and error, I'd say, even though, you, even if you do know what you're doing, to be honest, this is the first sorting system I've set up with the build craft pipes, I was kind of winging it, um, I normally go with the red power, but um, this is a bit more simple, and this down here is only a small setup compared to what I'm going to have up on that hill eventually when I make my mage tower. So, as you can see, anything that is unsorted, because previously this cobblestone was unsorted, is just running into these chests until it will be sorted. Um, got a bit of rat in there. Um, this is the wrench that you use here. I forgot I had it on me. Um, you use it for these, cob uh, these iron pipes. Now, if I was to bang this with the wrench, the opening would change to this right hand pipe here. If I hit it again, it would go back that way and then items would stop flowing through it. Um, they would only have one direction. That's all that, like the band. Um, that's all that like all that pipe does so it takes a while to do it I think I will upgrade this chest because when I've got my pack full I can't quite fit everything in there So I'll do that now quickly. I've got it set up in the project table Bit of running around. It's gonna take me a little while to fix up my house at the end of this So here is the chest upgrade to a silver chest uh, to an iron chest. So if you look in your not enough items there are several upgrades to the chests. There's the iron chest, gold chest, diamond chest, copper chest, silver chest, and crystal chest, and obsidian chest. I'm, to be honest, I'm not sure what the obsidian chest does. Maybe it's unbreakable or something. Um, the crystal chest lets you see through it, so you can see certain items in it. Uh, silver chest, um, I don't know what the deal is with that one. Copper and iron chests are basically just the next size... Uh, basically the same, the same as these, which is just a double chest, um, and then, oh, look what I've done down there, and then gold chest is the next size up, and then diamond is a size after that, so you can, when you do them, you have to make them in tiers, so you'll notice you need a gold chest to make a diamond chest, um, an iron chest to make a gold chest, and stuff like that, or you can just make the upgrades like we're about to do here, this is the upgrade, bit of wood in the middle, and iron surrounding just grab that out and then all you have to do to upgrade the chest is right click on it boom done and now it's got double the amount right as it gets emptied so um that's pretty much it that's the sorting system um like these lights and things i didn't put in there because to be honest i'm not i'm hardly ever going to be dumping them in the thing and then eventually when everything comes in here like the cobblestone we fixed up. I'm not going to go the covers because covers are all individually numbered. Pretty much the same principle as the weapon damage. There's just too many of them to do. Um, now I know cook rat isn't in the sorting system. I can go through here and put it in the food section. Food and farming in that chest there. Um, scorpion stings. I think I'll just leave in unsorted books pretty much. Just any general stuff that... Spruce wood planks, I believe I already fixed that up before. Um, slime balls have been fixed, I believe. Um, cactus green and all that stuff, I'll just leave that. Blaze powder, bookshelves, minecarts, just stuff that I'll barely ever use. Flowers, it just takes forever to sort it all out. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'll fix all this up anyway, and I think... In the next episode, I'm going to basically turn my quarry back on, but I'm going to have it in between all these pipes. I'm going to have cobblestone offshooting into a furnace, automatically creating stone for me, and that way I can start gathering the materials to build my mage tower. Um, I'm Full Metal Agent. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching this uh, demonstration, I suppose you would call it. I kind of wang it, but what can you do? Um... So keep an eye out for some more vids coming up uh, over at the Ozplay. We're doing some more vids on the hangar over there. Um, we've been working on it for the past couple of days. So we're going to start recording and doing a few more videos over there. Um, we're also I'm also doing more The Last of Us videos and Dead Island videos. And yeah, it's all happening. So um, sub and like and all that jazz. I've been Full Metal Agent. I'll see you next time. Toodles. Pack that, that, it's, it's a Spax texture pack, and they are, uh, and it's, um, I think it's called Grunge. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> shit, shit, Get shit. <laughs> Get in the <laughs> Oh, no. Jump in the water. <laughs> if I didn't want to move, if I hadn't moved, I might have fallen <laughs> off the edge. <laughs> oh, that sucks. <laughs> oh, man, I'm respawning in the water.
<laughs> in the lava. Come on! Give me a break! Come on! Oh, yeah. Oh, that makes my bum feel better. Woo!